a short video about the Mio Quest, the GPS watch from Mio. First thing you should do once you get the product is go to mioglobal.com forward slash quest to go to the product page. You can download the user guide as a PDF and also you need to come here to get the latest software for the product. So here are the Quest updates. The software is regularly updated so make sure you do come back here regularly to check to see if there's any updates for your particular Quest. So I'm going to download the latest software and put that onto my PC. It's just going to install now, follow the steps through and this will now install the correct software to your PC. Once it's installed the software will automatically appear. I've now connected my Quest to my PC with the USB cable and I'm going to download the data that I've just got from the watch. It gives me the option to delete the data from the watch if I want, if I want to keep some memory spare. I don't need to so I'll press no. I just did a test walk so there isn't a lot of data, I was only outside for a brief amount of time. But if I want to pull this across to map my run, I press a tab up here, and this will open up map my run. It will ask me to log in. It will open up on my profile page. The software will also automatically bring up this save as. So what I need to do is save the file from my quest. I'll put it into documents and I'll call it map3. I need to make sure it's saved as a TCX file. I'll go back into map my run, sync my device which is in the workout tab, upload a file, so it's inside my documents, map 3, I also have map 1 and map 2 from previous walks, office walk, so this now is everything that's on map my run, so you can title the walk, effort you put in, how you felt, all the, st the standard things from Map My Run. Save it. And there you go. That's all your data from your Mio Quest is now in Map My Run. And you can share that data and join the community and all the various features of this site. Thank you very much. Bye.